So you go on over there to that third world country and terrorize them women. It's not a great guy if you can't find a girl. When you have to bring nothing to the table. Fuck if you don't want to date. Hold on, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Came out masculine. Like, can't find it here. Like, I guess it's all right. Like, if someone goes like overseas to find it. Cause baby, I don't want you. Not in the least bit. Not at all. Hey guys, welcome back to Mortal Life. I'm not gonna hold you. Let's get into it. You see the passport bros online complaining about how about women in America because they done been butt hurt by some woman. So now they don't like women in America. That's it, I'm done. Have you ever thought it was you and not the women? Cause we don't give a fuck if you don't wanna date that. Hold on, ho, whoa, whoa, whoa. Came out masculine. I was a lot happier before I knew Dame Edna was a man. Man, I thought it was a dude. At first, I said, Who's this dude? Some, I don't give a f my passport, bro, for my woman in America. People's skills are way better than yours. Mother, oh, bro. I'm so tired of the passport, bro, on my for you page. Shut your mouth because we don't care. Obviously, you do care. She looked like an African woman. She's African American for real, in the real sense of the form. But yeah, man, what was that? Let me go to the next video. I am FBA and I support the passport bro. I'm a Filipina and I support the passport bro. I am a Filipina and I support the passport bro. I am Kay. I am a Filipina and I support the passport bro. Hi, I'm a Filipina and I support the passport bro. I am a Filipina and I support the passport bro. I am a Filipina. I am Filipina. I support passport groups. I am a Filipina and support the passport groups. Damn! Passport groups. I am a Filipina. Oh my! Passport groups. Name is Polly and I am Tongan. I am from the country of the Kingdom of Tonga and I support the passport groups. We have passport bros that also come to our kingdom. My name is Joanne. I am from the Philippines and I am all about finding love, peace, and it does not matter where it leads you. So I definitely support the passport bros. What's your opinion about passport bros? I think it's stupid. <laughs> I think there's people everywhere. Maybe you're just not a great guy if you can't find a girl. Oh, no, no, no. It's not. See, People get confused. It's not about guys being a great guy. Like, why does a guy, because he's leaving to find one outside of the country, not a great guy? I don't know, man. It, it still boggles my mind. Do the do the research on it. Say, you know what? Why are these guys leaving? Okay. Oh, research. <laughs> you think it's mostly related to the individual themselves or it would be more like a cultural thing that across like the whole Western Hemisphere or North America? I mean, I mean, fair enough, like if your type's like a different like race and you want to go across the country for it, I mean, chase what you want. But if a man cannot find it here and decides to go overseas, I don't know, to a developing country, Southeast Asia, Latin America or something because they cannot find the woman they want, do you think that's more on the side of the man but maybe he doesn't have very good social skills here in this in this country or the US. It kinda of depends on the situation. Like everyone everyone finds love in like different situations. Like if someone like can't find it here, like I guess it's alright, like if someone goes like overseas to find it. Like it comes in all like shapes and forms. Like you can't really control it. So if you wanna go overseas to find love, like, you know, it's, it is what it is, you know? Like you have to do what you think is best for you at the end of the day. What what's your opinion? I mean, as a girl, I think it's kind of like on the guy. I'm like, why can't you find a girl with all these like possibilities? I don't know. It's kind of a red flag, not gonna lie, but whatever. It's delusional. See, people got confused, right? People got confused. What a lot of people don't realize is with the way society is now, it's not that these guys can't find a girl, right? When I was back home, I had no problem getting women. I told a guy a story the other day, and I've said stories like that. Plenty of times, living in New York too. This is back in the day, but I can still do it now. Even when I was back home, when I went back home, 
and I, I went to skip my son, you know, about two, three years ago. I'm out there and I'm just dragging up conversation and conversation is easy, right? Because I have to flow. A lot of, a lot of guys have the flow that are leaving. You know, women are going to, uh, not DR, they're going to like Columbia and they're seeing guys, they, women's, this woman said she's seen a guy in the airport and all these guys, look like they, were the, they were the men that women want that are leaving, that were in Colombia. Same thing with other countries. They're the men that women want. I'll tell you this, man. I've seen a video with my man Austin Holloman in Brazil, right? And the two guys that were standing behind him were the guys that were walking on North American streets with natural reds. Didn't even have to say anything. One guy was like 6'8", Diesel. Another guy was a basketball player, real slim. Had girls gawking over them, right? Same things as they were going to block, whistling at them like they were girls. Still in Brazil, walking behind Austin Holloman. This is the way. Why is that? Why were these guys out in Brazil? I want something feminine and delicate. Why? Just having fun, maybe. For the same reason they were getting gawked at. They understand how these women think. Do you think, do you think these guys aren't the guys women are cheating with? So they understand women are no good? A lot, not everyone, but a lot are no good? Because they see all those no good women coming for them saying, oh, I'm, I have a man. You see that guy that was that 6'8", Diesel? See all, hear all the stories or been through all the, all the drama on the other end? Do you think he, he's going to take women serious after that? Do you think he's going to want to find something to marry out of that? Think about it. Anyway, let me go on to the next video, guys. Hello, everyone. My take on the passport, bros. Don't care. Mm, the feeling is mortal. Really don't. If you have to go overseas to find a woman that will submit to you, when you have to prove nothing... And women like you is the reason why they're getting it. Because y'all do sound language. Shaming, insulting, guilt, and need to be right. When you have to bring nothing to the table... Huh? Then do you, boo. Because I'm sorry, I built this table over here. I got my own crib, my own car. I own my stuff. Okay? I have a job, 16 years in, 401k, pension, life insurance, and health insurance. PPO, not HMO. Nobody cares about that. That's the problem. So you going on over there to that third world country and terrorize them women. Who do you think you are? To find a woman that will submit to you when you have to prove nothing. Man. See, and, and this, this is the problem here, right? And obviously... She's single. You know what it is? A lot of women that make these passport bro videos, they're single. And that's what they're upset about. Because she's single because exactly what she stated just now. That's how you know she's single. Oh, I'm she's doing all that working, getting all those insurance. <laughs> she's building a nice retirement fund, I'm sure, right? Nice 401k. She said, like as she said, have my own health insurance, all that stuff, own car paid for, maybe a house paid for. Congratulations. Congratulations. You, you played, played yourself. yourself. You played yourself. You, then you turn around to my passport rules and look at your eyes. You look like you're halfway about to cry. Walk out the door, you see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Why doing it? Look at this. That spaced out look. Man, I got to put these guys down so I don't feel bad. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You're hurting. You're hurting inside. And, that, and that's what's sad, man. A lot of these women are hurting. And... A lot of these women need counseling, right? The counseling they claim men need, right? But you have therapists that are bashing passport bros and then bashing men and getting fired. It's wild. It's wild. Like guys really are waving the white flag saying, we don't want a war. That's what this all is, really. We don't want a war. We give up. We give up. And these videos are for guys, not for you. For guys to see more and more of you doing this and say, man, they they more ice cold. See, man, a lot of these women are more ice cold than dudes from the stuff they can do. Ice cold. Like, why would you even do this? What are making all y'all? And I know I know it's, it's slowing down now. I do see it slowing down. But this video is going to stop, right? But I think more women need to look at the manosphere and look at what's going on and 
start taking heed to some of these things and then understand why the passport bro movement happened and say, yeah, I get it. Because that's what you're going to say. If you look at any Manosphere content out there, even content I post, you're going to say, I see why this password grows. I see. I get it. And start looking within. And say, let me make that change. Because other than that, guys realize it's more to life than dealing with that. 